Hi everybody, my name is King Bikirago and I'm here with the realest housewives of Nairobi, Lisa Christofferson and Mene Karyuki. I hope I've pronounced the names correctly. Yeah. Well done. Thank you so much. And I'm about to make them give it give me the real about the real housewives of Nairobi. Africa's latest <laughs> sensation. Karibu sana. So guys, tell me which housewives do you miss the least? Or, or rather, let me let me let me rephrase it. Which housewife do you miss the least, Lisa? Today, whenever. Um, them all. Oh come on, guys! I love them all. I love them all. Uh huh. So yeah. you miss them equally? Yeah. Okay, good. Mine, I want you to tell me three nice things about Michelle and Talami. Who is that? <laughs> Say less, say less. And uh, Lisa, what do you hope to achieve um, from being on the Real Housewives of Nairobi? I hope to achieve that I can show the world our beautiful country through my eyes because I do luxury bespoke safaris. I take people on amazing adventures from Masai Mara, Savo to Lake Turkana. Mm -hmm. And Kenya has so much to offer. We're the only capital city, guys, in the world that has its own national park, yeah. especially with all the rhinos. So come and tune in to us. Great. How about you, Mina? What do you want to achieve um, from being on the show? Um, I want to inspire every little girl in Nairobi to know that you know what you can be on an international platform I tell my own story I'm very authentic about it I'm a girl who grew up uh, from Huruma mm -hmm. and I've made it here so I want to tell every girl out there that you can make it um, like Lupita Nyong'o said every dream is valid I hope that's not cliche to you if you believe if you, if you believe don't give up on yourself girl okay great, you got it great great and for the both of you what has been the most difficult part of filming this reality show Lisa it's uh, about keeping time. Mm -hmm. I respect time very, very much. <laughs> and, you know, God has given us 24 hours. Yeah. So I think, you know, we have a team and other people waiting. And so respecting time has been a, a challenge for many. Mm -hmm. How about you, Mine? Uh, of course, with you, we know you are on other shows. So this is like adding to your very like lengthy schedule yeah. as well for Lisa. So for you, what has been the most difficult part? I think it's just, just juggling between being on set on single Kiasi mm -hmm. and then um, shooting the reality show. Also, I go through so much on the show, like mm -hmm. very emotional issues. I go through so much. So yeah. please keep watching and I don't know. Don't make me cry. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> All right. It's March, which is uh, Women's Month. So what does Women's Month mean to you? And what do you hope that women can take away from the show? Okay, I feel like um, most of the part what we have done is inspire and motivate a lot of young girls. Mm -hmm. We've reached out to many um, young girls. I take the, um, the ladies to a children's home that my husband and I support. Mm -hmm. And we pay school fees for them. We, empi we empower young girls. Mm -hmm. And I feel like just show how bold that we've shown how bold we are. Yeah. We are very confident. Yeah. And I feel like that's what we want women to take from this show. You know, I, I don't filter anything. I, yeah. I say mm -hmm. if a bully comes for me, I come the other way yeah. so you know what just stand up for yourself yes. and just be the most authentic you can be great are we gonna see that on the show um we're going to our children's home and all that yes you'll see a lot of that great here. great lisa what do you uh, what do you want women to take away from the show um i also want to you know to say that you know i support and empower a lot of the young girls out there mm -hmm. the young hustlers mm -hmm. who are aspiring entrepreneurs mm -hmm. in this country mm -hmm. you know i've given talks at strathmore university to mm -hmm. her hustle a group of forty thousand young girls throughout mm -hmm. our country mm -hmm. and uh you know lifestyle in gigiri is a platform where they can come and showcase their products and try and open up windows for them to for customers the consumer markets for young and upcoming artists and photographers as well they have a blank canvas to come and showcase their work mm -hmm. so Young girls, be inspired by us because we're fearless, we're bold, and we don't take no for an answer. Yeah. Great. Mine, it's, 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 it's almost like expected that a reality show like this mm -hmm. uh, should be drama-filled. Mm -hmm. And if it's not full of drama, people will deem it boring. Mm -hmm. So do you feel, for the both of you, any pressure to kind of bring another side of you that's probably not your most natural or do you feel no pressure at all to bring a personality that's not really like your personality if that makes sense 
Okay, let me just be honest, okay? We are different personalities. Like, um, Lisa is very cool. Um, I could be temperamental. Mm-hmm. It depends. So I believe that, um, you know, you can't come for me. Yeah. And I'll just be like, okay, you know what? It's fine. That's my personality. I will come for you, mm-hmm. right? So it's not about bringing drama. It's just that if if you bring it, if you shed me, I'll shed you. Mm-hmm. If you want to, to see me, yeah. so that's just that's just it. We're just natural and very authentic, yes. right, Lisa? I agree. Great. Um, and Lisa, how how have you juggled between um, being a rally driver and now shooting a new reality show? Um, I see you businesswoman and all that kind, all, all those kind of things. How do you juggle all that and still? make time for family and everything else there's 24 hours in a day and it's how you utilize those hours i love waking up super early in the morning Mm -hmm. doing my reading my prayers and you know it's my time before i actually go out and i start working out i love working out do kickboxing and other high intensity works out sometimes i mix it up with yoga Mm -hmm. so it's just about making the maximum use of those beautiful hours in the day Mm -hmm. and everything is possible great mini um you're married how supportive has your husband been uh, i know you've been on other shows but this is different because it's a reality show how supportive has he been and what does he think of your um of your character on the show um he is he has been a million percent um supportive um, my husband has been supportive of who i am he's a man who believes in empowering women and I, he doesn't think anything of my character because actually I'm not playing anybody else. I'm playing myself, yeah, right? Sure so he's happy that people get to see the true me. I'm a wife. I'm a mother. Mm-hmm. And many characters I play on my on my shows, I'm a slay queen. You know, I, I, I'm supported by sponios yeah, and blessers. Yeah. So he gets, I get to tell my own true story. So yeah, he's happy and 100% supportive. Yeah. And speaking of, you've mentioned that you, the characters you portray on um, the shows you act on is... He portrays a certain Nairobi girl mm. but in real life you've spoken about how you started working so early mm. so how do you how is it how hard is it to like separate that um, to separate yourself from the character um, I'm, I'm a method actor so I de-roll very fast mm-hmm. For me, um, a method actor, you take um, the character when you get on set and outside the set, you're someone else, you're who you are. Mm-hmm. So I feel like it's just that, just yeah. understanding that who I am as an actor mm-hmm. and also just de-rolling very yes, fast. De-rolling. Yeah. Love that. Um, what can people expect in their upcoming episodes? What spoilers can you give us? I, I'm not going to give away anything. <laughs> you're just going to have to tune in what? on Showmax yeah. and watch the show. No promises. Do you expect drama? What, what, what? No spoilers. No spoilers. No spoilers. No spoilers. No spoilers at all. Okay, we get it. So are we going to see any new faces? Any new... F- are you going to bring any of your friends? Uh, Mine, Lisa, are you going to bring any of your friends to the show like we saw in the last episode? Uh, mm. Michelle was brought. Dr. Maria, what can you tell us? No spoilers. No spoilers for you. No spoilers. Oh, wow! <laughs> you mentioned something as we wind up. Something very interesting on the show. Um, that was actually off air. Then this is a bit off tangent, but you've given some brief history. And one of my colleagues was, t- was telling me that about Ndege Road in Karen. Yes. So do you mind um, giving us something on that? Absolutely. So we're talking about Karen Blixen as I'm Danish of origin and often get referred to the modern day Karen Blixen also because we have the same passion for safari life. And um, I was visiting a lady in Karen and she happened to live on Dege Road. And I said to her, I said, do you know why it's called Dege Road? And she said, no, didn't think about it. And I said, well, this whole area, first of all, was named Karen after Karen Blixen. This was her entire estate. Dege Road is called Dege Road because her lover, Dennis Finch Hatton, was landing his airplane on that particular strip. So that used to be his runway. Yeah. He's in Dege Road. He's in Dege Road. Tonight on Dege. In Dege Road. <laughs> Interesting. And uh, Mine, as we wind up as well, um, what's your parting shot to... Mini fans, I feel like you've in just a matter of a week you've gained <laughs> such a massive following. Yes, People I love know. you on the show. Um, what's your parting shot to your fans, your followers? Um, I'll just say um, thank you so much for the love, guys. Um, I feel like I'm trying to show Nairobi Nairobians that you know what. You can just be Kenyan, you can speak Swahili, you can be who you are, you can speak K- 
Kikuyu, you can speak Luo and still shine, okay? Still yeah, you, d- you don't have to filter who you are, yeah. okay? Embrace your heritage, embrace your culture, embrace who you are as a person, and yeah. people will love that. Don't come here speaking with your nose, we don't do that, <laughs> okay? Choose a struggle, are you African or European, yeah. honey, okay? Yeah. So I feel like just be who you are, and thank you fans so much, I love you, I am merchandising, I'm selling my t-shirts, you yep. know, we are boss babes, we write checks, you write Instagram captions, <laughs> you can buy my t-shirts, my cups online, yeah, yeah, we need to cup it, I'm a hustler, but on, honestly, it's all love, it's all love from me, and yeah. just be you, just be, be you. you. To reiterate what you said on the show, it's our national language, boo, yes. boo. Okay, <laughs> boo, boo. Lisa, what's your parting shot to your followers and fans? Life is so amazing. Yes. 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 So no matter what happens in life, I think, you know, we should all find that inner strength to be as positive as possible. We, If we think doom and gloom, it is that. Words are powerful. We need to think about what we're saying before we actually utter that one word. Mm-hmm. Life is about not having regrets. Mm-hmm. So enjoy life. Be as positive as you can because I tell you what, guys, it will change your outlook. And I want to thank also all those beautiful people out there who are supporting us on this show. Enjoy it. And also thank you very much to my sponsors, EABL, and Homeboys for uh, supporting us for our weekly viewing at Lifestyle in Gigiri. Great. Hashtag Ron. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Tune into the Real Houses of Nairobi on Showmax. And what time, Mina? Um, Thursdays only on Showmax.